Hey everybody, Johan Magnussen here, Big Sweet Barbecue. Today, we're making smoked barbecue meatloaf on the Memphis Pro Cart ITC3. Now, the first thing that we wanna do is set up the Memphis wood fire grill, so let's start with that. We're gonna set the Memphis wood fire grill to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, and we are gonna use oak pellets for this cook. The Memphis wood fire grill is now sitting at 250 degrees, so it's time to start preparing the meatloaf, and here are the steps. You wanna finely dice one large yellow onion. Then we wanna place the diced onion in a bowl. Then we're also gonna finely dice one red bell pepper. And we're also gonna place this in the same bowl. We're gonna crack two eggs into a smaller bowl. And then we wanna add one cup of whole milk and also one cup of breadcrumbs and then we want to stir this and set aside for a couple of minutes. Now it's time to add two pounds of 80-20 ground beef to the big bowl. And I also like to add a pound of Wagyu ground beef just because it has a great flavor. Next, we're going to add half a tablespoon of smoked paprika. We're also going to add half a tablespoon of chili powder. Then we want to add two teaspoons each of black pepper and salt. We also want to add half a cup of good barbecue sauce. We use TD's Brew and Barbecue, the original for this cook. Now we want to combine this thoroughly and mix well until the ingredients are evenly distributed. Then we're going to add the breadcrumb milk mix and keep mixing. Next, we want to remove the mixture from the bowl and place on a cutting board. Then we want to hand shape this into a nice meatloaf size. I like to do this by hand because I like a more rounded form. We want to lift the meatloaf onto a baker's rack to get good smoke circulation all around. You want to season the meatloaf all over with a good barbecue rub. We use our Big Sweet Barbecue Badass Beef Boost. And then we're going to place this in an aluminum pan. The meatloaf is now shaped, the smoker is sitting at 250, so now it's time to start smoking it. We're gonna place the aluminum pan with the meatloaf in the Memphis grill. Now we're gonna smoke this for about an hour. The meatloaf has been in for about 60 minutes, it looks good, so now it's time for the next steps in the cooking process. Now we wanna set the Memphis wood fire grill to 350 degrees. And we're also gonna remove the meatloaf temporarily from the grill. Then we wanna drizzle the meatloaf with the barbecue sauce. You wanna use a brush to even out the barbecue sauce and make sure that you don't have too thick of a layer. The grill is ready, the meatloaf has been sauced. It's time to place back the meatloaf with a pan in the Memphis wood fire grill again. And now we're gonna cook it until it reaches an inner temperature of about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. The loaf is now sitting in a smoker with an inner temperature of 160 degrees. So I guess it's time to remove it, slice it and start eating it. So let's get to that. And that is how I make my smoked barbecue meatloaf on the Memphis Pro Cart ITC3. Now, if you wanna know more about Memphis Wood Fire Grills, check out their website, memphisgrills.com. I'm ready to eat some smoked meatloaf. So I'm gonna grab a piece here. Oh, look at that, it just smells amazing. Oh. It's airy, it's rich, it's so juicy, it's packed with flavors. I hope you try this at home. Good smoke flavor too. Happy grilling.